everyone. All right, so you're back with another video. So today we're going to talk about how you can leverage Microsoft Graph API and uh, Azure Functions to make together uh, use of Graph webhooks. So in the previous video, we talked about how do you use Azure Functions to leverage Microsoft Graph webhooks. Uh, today we're going to go one step ahead and um, use lifecycle notification URL. So if you look at the documentation um, of the missing change notification, uh, you can see it clearly says that um, you need you can use lifecycle notification URL to know about the notification which are being missed. So the first question arises why the notifications are missed. So when the load on the notifications get very high, uh, some notification may be flagged as missed. Uh, this is something not wrong on your side as notification is not sent. It could be lack of resources on the Microsoft side as well uh, as the demand increases. So it is by design of HTTP that it doesn't allow such high volume of webhooks. It is for this particular type of scenario exactly why this lifecycle notification URL exists to help the application um, aware that some notifications have been missed. So application can resync and only upon detection of missed ones. So in summary, the notification URL will exist. Uh, missed notification will exist and lifecycle URL will allow your application to be aware of that and act upon it, whether whatever the business rule demands, either by ignoring it or by resyncing it. All right, so today we're gonna create this lifecycle notification URL and uh, see this in action. All right, so first thing I need to create is Azure Function App. So I'm already on the Azure Function App page. So if you do not know how to create a function app, I already have a video on this. So just have to go to the function app, click on create. All right, here you need to select a resource group. I'll create a test RG uh, YouTube as the resource group. Okay. Uh, name of the function would be okay pro so name of my function would be programming with tj runtime stack i'm gonna select as dot net uh, version i'm gonna keep as it is region i'm gonna keep as it is uh, operating system i'm gonna select windows and plan type as consumption so based on what you like uh, you can change those settings but these are the some of the basic settings that i'm gonna select and the monitoring tab, um, I think I'll need to yeah, disable the application inside since uh, this is just a demo of the app and I do not need it. Next is tags and I don't think I'll need this for the review purpose. I'll just click on create review and create. I'll just click on create. So till the deployment is getting completed, I'll go to the code. So this is the same code what we did in the previous video. If you need explanation of this code, uh, you can refer my previous video. So there I have explained everything in brief. So the only thing that I have added here is the lifecycle notification event handler. So if you look at this if condition, um, so if the notification would have a lifecycle event, uh, then only this particular block would get executed. Otherwise, uh, for normal notification, uh, this particular block would be executing. All right. So um, the, another thing is a um, lifecycle notification URL would be same for the normal notification as well as the lifecycle notification URL. Uh, I'll explain that here. So if you look, I've copied this from here. If you look at it, uh, create subscription part. So I've copied this from here. Okay, so whatever you saw in the postman. And here the lifecycle notification URL is missing. So that I copied from here. So here exactly it is shown how you need to use the lifecycle notification URL. Mind you, it has to have a same host name, the notification URL and the lifecycle notification URL. So if you see the webhook.azurewebsite.net, here also it is the same thing. All right, uh, you can create a separate method for this, uh, for both, but it has to be have a same host name. Okay, so in my case, I'm not created a separate method. I'm using the same method, graph lifecycle hook. And uh, in the same method only, I'm going to use uh, the normal notification as well as the lifecycle notification. All right, so I need to go back and check whether my function app has been provisioned. Okay, it is. All right. So now that my function app has been provisioned, I'll deploy the function code of which I have it over here. So the deployment part also I have shown you um, how can you do it using Visual Studio or Azure CI CD. So if you need any assistance on that part, uh, you can refer to my previous video. All right. Uh, so here I think. Yeah, so I'll need to click on edit. Um, no, not here. Hmm. Okay, I'll click on new. Click on Azure, uh, Azure Function App for Windows. That's what our setting tells us. Oh, it, it is asking me to re-enter the credentials, so I'm going to do that real quick. Okay. All right. So 
it should sign us in real quick. Okay, let me complete my authentication. All right, so. Oh. I don't think the notification test. I don't think our webhook has been supplied here. If I go back over the same account, right, Alex? Um, if I go to the function app, it's just showing me programming with DJ here, but not over here. Okay, RG test resource group. Oh, the resource group to search for the resource group which contains this. So programming with DJ. So test RG YouTube is the test. Oh. Okay, it's not yet visible. Maybe I'll have to create the function app here first and then try to deploy it, uh, override it uh, from that particular window. So I'll click on this. I need HTTP trigger. I'll click on create and I guess that should create the HTTP trigger one. Yes. Let's see if we are able to see the resource group here after that changes. Function app. No, not really. Can't see it yet. Resource type, if I select function app, uh, graph one graphs running central US, central India. Okay. I guess that is the reason why I'm not able to find it maybe because it could be because of the region right okay let me change it real quick not this one um how can i change the right just i'll try to create the function app right from the scratch Okay, should be dot net. Um, Central India. Networking. Um, no, that part is not required. And in the monitoring tab, I'll uh, disable the application inside and click on review and create. I'll just put on the validation and I guess we should be good. Uh, so once it is deployed, I guess uh, we would be able to do it. So once it is deployed, uh, we would be able to do it, I guess. All right. So we would wait for the deployment to get completed. I'll skip this part uh, so that, okay, I guess. Hmm. All right, so there you go. So I'm gonna click on finish. And yeah. So now I can uh, go ahead and publish this app. So after. Uh, yeah, after clicking on publish, uh, our code would be deployed on our Azure function. So let's wait for our code to get deployed there. And uh, now I'm gonna change the contents of the contacts so we get the missed alert notification. So if I go to the Outlook app, so click on the contacts link and I'm just going to edit this contact. Church. OK, so now I have updated the content and I still haven't got any notification here. Um, wait for some time or try to update again. OK, no new trace. So this is what we are expecting, uh, the missed notification alert. So technically, uh, since the notification is missed, it, it would take some time to uh, give us the no to notify us. Otherwise, if, if it was instant, that means uh, it would be notification itself, but uh, we are not getting the notification. Uh, we are waiting for the missed alert. So that makes sense. All right, still haven't got any notification for the missed alert. Uh, I've updated price now. At least uh, we should get a new price for the 14th. Mm. 
notification again. All right, so now I have uh, resource as user slash contacts. Um, I'll delete the existing subscription which is there. All right, I'll try to create a new subscription. All right, you should get. Okay, so the note, the web book is getting called, but uh, we haven't got anything yet, is it? Okay, so now that I have clicked on refresh, I think we should get something out of it. Okay, I'll try to create the subscription again. Try to reload it. Okay, I'll click on logs. Okay, it says it's connected. I'll try to create the webhook again. Okay, so the webhook got created. We got the notification. I'll click on clear. Now I will uh, do some editing here. Click on save. Click on save. Okay, so we haven't got any missed event yet so ideally we should have got an um, event that uh, something has been changed on the outlook side outlook side but we haven't got it yet uh, so the missed part uh, so we need to wait for it for a few seconds uh, so I'm waiting for it uh, ideally it takes around one minute to do that Hmm. All right, still not anything. OK, so we got the notification as missed as expected here uh, as the missed notification alert, which we were expecting. All right, so now you got how to use the lifecycle notification you were using the change notification and Azure functions. If you guys have any doubt, uh, please feel free to ask. All right, adios guys until next time.